hi everybody welcome back to my channel today even though we're like 11 days into the year as I'm filming this I'm gonna show you my planner stack for 2020 so I have four planners here I know that's kind of excessive for some people but for others not there is a purpose for each of them and actually I have another one that I forgot about oh <laughs> so actually I have five <laughs> um but I'm gonna go ahead and go through these um i'm gonna save this one for last because this one i want to use but i have the least purpose for right now so i'm gonna wait on this one and put it at the end so the first one is this some lines a day journal this is by luke derm and basically you fill out a little blurb for each day and you do this for five years and then you have a five-year journal of your life which I know a lot of people do this so I don't know if it's worth me explaining um, but that is what this is I've been pretty good about filling it out so far I did try to do this in the past and I got to year three um, and there was a lot of negative stuff going on in my life and I just kind of gave it up and when I looked back on it I was like sad because I had a couple rough years so I'm starting fresh with a new one this year and I'm really excited about it and yeah so that's the first planner then the second planner is my bullet journal another Luke Derm notebook and then all of these quotes are from the podcast my favorite murder which is my favorite podcast I bought all these stickers on Etsy from various shops. If you want to know a specific sticker, let or vinyl, I guess, let me know in the comments and I'll look it up and figure it out. I'm pretty sure I've shown this bullet journal to you guys so far. I did start adding in photo pages, which I'll show you those because they've become some of my favorite pages. I don't like with um, electronic devices that once you take pictures, it's like hard to look at them again, kind of, just because they're not like in a photo album or anything like that where how they used to be. So I thought by doing this, I'd be able to see the pictures that I take easier. So I'm going to show you all of those pages right now so far. And I do it at the end of the month, so then I have all my pictures already taken. Then here was November and December which looks like this so I really love how these come out so I just am gonna continue doing those and then I thought I'd do a quick flip through of this year's 2020 okay so here was my first cover page for 2020 I just used some Tombos and did like a, that bag thing, like with a Ziploc bag and rubbed them on the page. And then I made a future log, which looks like this. So I just put like a little dot um, on the day that I have something coming up. And then wherever I am in the planner at that time is the page number that I write on here. And that kind of reminds me of plans I have. Here's a little key I made for like holidays, birthdays, appointments, plans, other, all the holidays, and then my friends and family's birthdays. Then I am tracking my how was your day again here and also the weather. And then this is new this year. I started doing a reading log like this. Um... I started putting little pictures of the books here. However, after I started this, I ended up deciding I wanted to start a bullet journal just for my books. So I'll show you that after this one. So this page is pretty much... I, I'm probably still going to fill it in just so that it looks nice, but I don't really need this anymore. Then I made some reading goals for 2020. Again, this is in my book bullet journal as well. Then I have some YouTube ideas which I, I think I'm, I've been reading a lot more. I think I'm going to add in like maybe a book video once a month or something. Let me know what you think about that. I, I don't know if I should start a new channel to do bookish things or if you guys don't mind if I just put it on this one. I don't know. Let me know what you think. 
Um, and then I have a page for things I want to check out if people recommend things to me. So that's this here. Then I have my January opening page. And then this will be my photo page once um, I have my pictures. Then I have my favorite moments of January. Um, my monthly calendar. And I always put like a song quote up here that I like. Then I have a mood tracker and habit tracker, mental health tracker here. And then this was back again when I was doing everything in here. So now this is all separate. So this is going to go into the book planner. I do have a book Instagram too, by the way. Um, I'll link it down below if anyone is interested in seeing what I'm reading. I've already read three books in January and it is the 11th. I started a new one yesterday. So reading is going well. That was like a big goal of mine. And then I just go into dailies in here. So that's it for my bullet journal for 2020. Then we have my book bullet journal. So this journal is beautiful. It's from a company called Compoco. If you're in the U.S., I'm going to warn you that shipping took a very long time. It's definitely worth it, but I think it took maybe three weeks to a month for me to get this. And I ordered it on Black Friday. No, I, I got it quicker than that, I think. I don't know, but it took longer than I thought, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Um... So anyways, the quality is amazing. The, the pages are colored on the side, but still white on the inside. So I'm really enjoying this so far. So let me show you the pages that I did. The first page, I put a couple bookish quotes, um, one from Jim Rohn and one from Stephen King. Then I have moved over my 2020 goals and I added a few as well. And then I would like to read at least 40 books this year. I'm hoping to surpass that. I just have so many books and I love reading so much that I really am trying to incorporate it more into my life. And so far this year, I've read every single day. I really want to read something every day. I actually have done that so far. So, so far I'm doing pretty good. Um, so anyways, I fill in the number when I finish the book. And then on the following pages, I have them numbered here, just like I did in my other one, with a rating, a date started, date finished, and then the book and author, and then this is the number of the book that um, corresponds to the number here. So right now, I just started this one yesterday, like I said, and Rick Mofina is a new author for me. I didn't even ever hear of him, and I bought Missing Daughter on a Whim from BookBub, which is another site I recommend if you like books because they email you every day different Kindle books that are related to your interests that are on sale. So I highly recommend signing up for BookBub. It's free. And then, so I found him through that and I loved this book so much. So now I'm reading another one of his. I made a lot of spaces for books, so hopefully I can fit the whole year on here. Then here I made a bookshelf to be read bookshelf and these include books that I've had already on my shelf that I've been wanting to get to but haven't. So this isn't including new releases from 2020 and there are some coming out already that I know I'm going to want to read but those aren't going to go on here. This is more for me to see what I have on my bookshelf that I've had for a while that I already paid for that I want to get to and read. So that is this. Then here is my new releases page. I also have a wish list on Amazon keeping track of all of this. Um, but this is so far what I know of that I want to buy that's coming out this year. So that is these two pages here. Then I have a yearly challenge for myself. I found this online. The website I found it at was called The Unread Shelf. I'm not sure if that's the name of the challenge, but... I wanted to remember the website that I got it from, so that is that. So every month you have a different prompt for a book that you will read. So that is something fun that I think I want to do. Then moving on to this page here, it's a reading tracker by pages. I tried to make reading and Kindle kind of correspond as far as colors. Um, 
I think that'll end up being a little bit confusing, but I don't want to carry 10 different Tombos in my pen case. Like, I can't fit 10, any, I can't fit anything more, actually, in my pen case. So I copied these two, and then for audiobook, I did do three different colors. Um, the dot is for finishing a book, and the blank is for did not read at all. So this is how I'm tracking my reading for the year. Then I have a reading stats page where I'm going to keep track of how many physical books I read, Kindle books, audio books, and number of pages read total um, per month. So that is where I'm going to track that. Then I have my monthly starting. So this is my January opening page. It's just simple. I'm doing a page tracker my, by month here to show how much I read. And as long as I read at least like something that I'm happy. I, I do want to read every day this year. Then over here I have my January books read and a page count for each book that I've read. So, so far I've read like 1100 pages-ish, something like that. I still have to add the one I just started right here. And then, okay, so this is going to be a spoiler page a little bit. I'm covering it right now to give you a warning. If you want to read this book, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, and you don't want spoilers, now's the time to leave the video. Or actually, I'll put a timestamp of when I'm done talking about this page right here. So this is a book I just finished. I wanted to start doing like a spread for books that I really liked. I'm not going to do this for every book because I just don't think that I want to. I, I, if I don't love a book, I'm not going to spend the time to do it. So this book was so atmospheric. I loved it. I could not put it down. I put pictures I found on Amazon that reminded me of the feel of the book so that I remember. And then I wrote a plot um, summary here and my own personal opinions. I freaking loved this book. I'm going to read more by Riley Sager this year. So that is where I am right now. I'll continue doing this through January for anything else that I have read, and then I'll move on to the next month. So that is it for my book bullet journal. Then we have my Erin Condren, which this is the one that you guys see all the time, every week almost, when I do my spreads. I do January to December. I know a lot of people do the academic year. I personally do. I'm not in school anymore, so I don't feel like I need to do an academic year uh, planner. I do like having the January to December. So you guys saw this spread last week already, but this week I'm actually going to film it today. Okay, so this is just a regular vertical neutral Erin Condren. So that is what I am working with this year. And then the last one is my Hobonichi, which... I was like all gung-ho about last year when they became popular and I had one and I used it for like four months and then I stopped and then these were on sale, the new ones, so I bought another one and I was like, I'll find something to do with it and then I started doing book ch chat in this one, but then I started my whole book bullet journal, so then I was like, I don't really need to use this for books. So this guy still doesn't really have a use, but I have it all set up and ready to use. Um, I think I might use it for mental health and just keep it as a private planner and not really share it with the world. Um, I just think that would be good. I, I think mental health is very important, and I think it'd be good to track that for the year. So I think that's where I'm going to go with it. Again, I'm not really sure, but I want to use it somehow because I paid for it. So that's that. All right, so I guess that is it. That's my planner stack for 2020. Let me know in the comments what you guys are all doing for your planner systems this year. Not that I need to buy any more, but I am curious. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.